so I just arrived in Torino and I was passing by from the train station right here and I see this this is like a building for the police but look at what it looks like even reminds me of like I don't know German World War II buildings So if you don't know what Torino is, it's a city on the north, northwest part of Italy. So I'm close to like France and let's say Switzerland, but closer to France. Somebody told me that the architecture here is like very different from the other uh, cities and it is. Reminds me even of German architecture. Like the architecture is kind of like German because you have all these gothic kind of looking buildings. They're not all of them like that, but the actual streets are very big as you can see. Like usual Italian streets are very narrow, small. The buildings are like very close. Here you can even see a park behind me. There's like so much space between like uh, the two buildings here. This map is real. It says you're here. I've been searching for like 30 minutes in this map. Where the f I am? I can't find it. So as you just saw, I've been in the Lego store. Every time I visit one of these like Italian uh, cities, I gotta go to the Lego store because mostly they have some good exponents and uh, it's very nice. So um, right now I'm at, it's called Piazza San Carlo. So I guess if you want to go sightseeing here, this is the first thing you wanna see. So the thing behind me, you can't really see it, Piazza Madame. Here is a nice park. I don't know what that peak over there is, but I'm gonna go and see it. It looks very nice from here. And there's actually a whole park here below. It looks very nice. Really, the park is just beautiful as you can see in the calm atmosphere, it's very nice. And you can walk around a lot. I don't think there's an exit here. I have to go all the way back, I think. Check out the square that I'm at. This is Duomo. But just look at like the, the, the bricks here, the street, and just the general buildings. I mean, they look very kind of German, I guess. So I'm at a archaeological park, it's called Tori Palatine and uh, yeah it's actually next to Duomo right here. Oh yeah, fun fact since uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, I don't know actually the food that is very like uh, famous here but I know um, one thing that is actually produced here in Torino which is actually distributed to the whole Italy is uh, Lavazza, it's their coffee. Um, it's usually used for like machines or it can be used for uh, mocha. But yeah, that's actually made here in Turin. I'm just gonna have to say it. A lot of the buildings and the architecture and the streets look fascist. From the fascist era, I mean look, look at all the bricks here and like these buildings. Tell me I'm, I'm wrong. I'm just confirming my suspicion here. Look at this. And this is Piazza, wait, Piazza Carlo Alberto. Looks pretty awesome. I mean, just the architecture of this thing, just pay attention to the detail. What the hell, this thing isn't even located on the map as an attraction. I mean, it looks ridiculously beautiful, this whole like uh, square area here. I cannot get over how big this dog is, what the f Man has a whole gepard with him. 
there are so many of these buildings look at the way they're made like this brick and stuff and it's a hospital this is like the thing i like about uh italian cities most of them have very nice parks with like a lot of trees and in every like city i've been to there's a lot of trees in the streets where cars pass so i like how i'm doing all these like places to visit videos while well, i don't know where the f i'm going I have to google maps this shit, you know hopefully it means something to you guys so right now i came all the way here to the river just have to pass the street first f okay usually it's nice here uh, near the river so i come you know see the stuff the nature here is very beautiful and there's a bridge over there it's already um, 425 so I have to get going okay so I just noticed the church on top of the hill it's so big right there that's crazy I don't know what that is but yeah and here's the actual Mo Antelliana here right above me so that's the last place I wanted to see so it's 453 and I'm gonna go head to the train station I just wanted to thank all of you guys for still watching this vlog and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed looking around Torino with me and all the places that I visited. So um, gotta catch the train. <laughs>